What is up, YouTubers? We are back with another episode of our 6D Journey. My name is Lucas, and I'm here to help us all build healthy relationships. And today, the topic of discussion is Mercury in retrograde. So there's always this like hype that happens with people where when Mercury in retrograde happens, they're like, oh God, there's so much communication issues going on. Like no one understands me. No one listens to me. What's going on? Um, and in case you don't know, when Mercury does go in retrograde, every single time that happens, it's in a certain part of the sky, which means it's corresponding to a certain constellation. Well, Mercury is going retrograde in Scorpio. Okay. Um, and this is a really profound time to let a lot of things off of your chest. So one of the energies I noticed that came in when the new moon came was there was kind of this, there was this energy of, I need to put my heart on the line. I need to start telling people how I genuinely feel and really expressing myself fully in the moment and allowing the communication to be genuine and authentic. So each of us has like this set of things about us that we not necessarily hide from the world, but that we don't convey fully. Okay, say you're obsessed with a certain kind of hobby or you have a really strong opinion about something and instead of just really letting the energy out and be fully expressed, we put a small filter on it and we go in a little less passionate because we don't want to look crazy or we try to explain our story and we try to make the details look shinier than they are and what we're doing basically is lying. Like, in my mind, it's a lie. Like, there's white lies, okay? Lies you tell that aren't really a big deal, that maybe you're trying to make something slide through better, make someone feel better. There's black lies when you're doing it to manipulate and to not get caught for something. And then there's gray lies, where we're telling a story and leaving certain things out. Lies of omission, I think, could also be considered gray lies. It's where we fluff things like oh yeah yesterday I ran 7.5 miles and it was really 7.4 miles you lied <laughs> it's a lie and so this is a really profound time to let things off your chest and to express them fully if there's something you want to tell someone maybe it's an opinion you have that you know would really help them or maybe it's hey I have a, I've had a crush on you for three years and I, I need to tell you that I've had feelings for you all this long. I, I wanted to know if you want to go on a date with me. You know, things like that. This is the time to do that. Let out your deep, dark secrets. It is time to go. So, of course, I'm bringing in my Energy Oracle deck. And the question we're going to have for today is, how can we move through Mercury and retrograde in a soft, easy open way that will help us upgrade our consciousness into a better place of communication and understanding of each other. So I invite you now to open your, wow, this card flew right out. So the card of today, how to move through Mercury and retrograde more fluidly with better communication is the card of allowance. Um, allowance in this image in this image represents the spirit of the Joker, the spirit of the fool. This is about for me having an embodiment of newness all the time. If someone approaches you with, with an energy, a statement, an idea, and you've heard it before, maybe the person that gave it to you last time didn't promote it in the best way, and you might be prejudging the situation by going, "Oh, well, last time I heard this idea, it was absolute crap." Well. This is the time to zoom out a little bit and remind yourself that this communication you're having right now is new. Allow it to be different. So this is about um, really also embodying a sense of courage, letting go of fear, being unbounded by restrictions and limitations inside your mind. Um, now the thing about this card too that I'm seeing is there's a lot of green energy around it. And to me, when I'm looking at this card, I'm getting this, this feeling of seeing everything through a lens of love and compassion while still holding on to the truths of who we are and really moving through a sense of confidence in our conversations with people. Um, this card is also about sometimes people show up with 
unwanted truths that we don't want to hear, or maybe they show up and they're lying to us and we know they're lying to us, well, it's not always the best time to point it out. You lied! It's not the best time to do that. And you know, there are, sometimes we want to point things out to get clarity, but if it's if it's to get clarity, it's different than pointing out at someone just to make them feel bad that they're making something up. Now, there's a lot of emotions going to be flying throughout this period, okay, of Mercury retrograde. Things are going to be falling up and down. Um, and you have to really remind yourself that this is a multi-layer dimension you're living in. And this moment you're in right now is a simple moment. It's going to pass. And to keep a hold of your truth. What truth are we expressing? You know, not being concerned with the truth of them, but being concerned with the truth of us. And if they want to communicate in that way, let them. And allow yourself to communicate in your best full way. Um, another part about this card is that this card is the opposite of resistance. So we tend to resist certain things in our life, certain communication styles, certain people, certain places. This card is about allowing things to flow through easily. Just in and out, in and out. And let that unfolding of events transform yourself from within. So let's take a moment now and reflect on our day, our life, our purpose, and what in this moment is standing out to you? And how can you appreciate that moment no matter what it is? What can you appreciate about the lesson you learned, about the person you were with? What is it that you're recognizing in yourself? And what gifts have you received because of this life experience? Whether it's positive or negative, what gift did you receive from it? How can you be excited about the lessons that had value? And what is it that you can do to celebrate these moments? So yeah, guys. Mercury is in retrograde. There's a lot of things unfolding, a lot of secrets coming out. And maybe this is the time, I'm getting a message for someone, someone that's not watches and I know this is for them. This is the time to really embrace a sense of newness with our ability to receive. How do we receive communication? Because if we receive things well and properly, chances are higher than not that we'll respond and give things well and properly. So open your mind, open your heart, stay focused on your willpower. This, this yellow is willpower, it's will. These reds and oranges surrounding it is your creative, secure, sacred force that's moving through your willpower. Truth is coming. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, it's been like a weekly update lately, honestly. You know, um, I've been working a lot. <laughs> and just a little side note on my, my life. Um, I have a new cat coming into my life. I'm going to start breeding cats again. I'm so excited. His name is Genesis. He's beautiful. And, um, yeah. Talk to you guys later.